Let's solve this trig equation, um, the first revolution around the circle. So what we're going to do here is a little bit of a tricky <coughs> problem because these are two different, there's actually a couple ways you can do this problem. You could turn this into a trig problem if you wanted to right away, or you could, I'm sorry, a, a tangent problem by dividing cosine squared, or a more, maybe a simpler way to do it is to ter turn this one into cosine squared. So we're going to turn sine squared into 1 minus cosine squared x. And now I'm going to set this equation. I'm going to move this over, I should say, to the right side. I don't want to set it equal to 0 because um, I, I don't need to factor. I only have one variable here. The cosine x is my only variable. So this is just going to equal four, 1 equals 4 cosine squared x, which means... 1 fourth equals the cosine squared of x, which means the cosine x equals plus or minus 1 half. Don't forget the plus or minus. A lot of people forget that. So where is the cosine of x equal to plus or minus 1 half? The cosine is the x, so it's at 60. I'm sorry, we want it in radians. At pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. 1, 2, 4, 5 over 3, pi over 3. So x equals pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. And you can check it by plugging them back in with your store button and you'll see that that's right.